You must have heard about gene editing, CRISPR, the designer babies. Maybe you've heard about these two impressive scientists that uh, developed a CRISPR method for gene editing and got a Nobel Prize in chemistry this year. If not, you better find out soon because this is a revolutionary tool that has an incredible potential to cure genetic diseases. Find out how in this video. Welcome to another video. Thank you for being here. I'm the Biotech Girl and today I'll talk about CRISPR. When some people hear CRISPR, they may immediately think of gene editing. However, in its essence, CRISPR is basically a kind of immune system found in prokaryotes, which protects them from viruses. It is basically a DNA sequence which, when activated, destroys the genetic material of the virus that attacks them. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. I know it's a mouthful, but let's explain all of this by going into the detail of the CRISPR structure. What typically occurs when a bacterium is attacked by a bacteriophage is that the virus attaches to the cell, injects its genetic material into the bacterium, and directs it to create many more viruses that then get released and are able to attack other bacteria. However, with the help of the CRISPR system, when the virus attacks the bacterium, a particular section of the viral genome called protospacer first gets incorporated within the bacterial DNA as a spacer sequence, and it can be recognized in case the same type of virus attacks the cell in future, that is, if the bacterium survives this initial infection. This is why the CRISPR system is considered as a type of immunity. Now let's see how exactly the CRISPR gets activated and protects the bacteria. We mentioned that following previous viral infections, the bacteria can incorporate sections of the various viral genomes into the bacterial DNA, where they are known as spacers. So CRISPR is basically the section of the DNA found in prokaryotes that consists of alternating spacers and short repeated palindromic sequences called repeats. So if the same virus attacks again, the corresponding DNA spacer section gets transcribed into a CRISPR or CRRNA carrying the corresponding nucleotide repeat section and a tracer RNA or transactivating CRISPR RNA. Together they are called guide RNA. The CRISPR-associated protein Cas9, whose gene is adjacent to the CRISPR locus, associates with the guide RNA which guides it to the target site of the viral genome that is complementary to the guide RNA sequence which separates the strands. Then both strands of the viral genome are cut with the help of an en the enzyme activity of Cas9 protein and this typically disables the virus. Some of the applications of the CRISPR system are Scientists can create a guide RNA molecule with a custom sequence that can recognize, bind to, and cut a particular gene responsible for a disease, thus disabling it. Gene editing can be done if on the location that the guide RNA recognizes, some nitrogenous bases get replaced with others, thus changing the sequence. The gene expression can also be enhanced or inhibited by combining the Cas9 protein to other factors that can affect the transcription process, creating more or less of the functional product, or by disabling the enzyme activity of the Cas9 protein and adding a fluorescent molecule, for example, we can label parts of interest of the DNA or find their particular location within a chromosome. Let's briefly recap the main points. CRISPR is the DNA section of the genome of prokaryotes that when activated by a viral attack enables the survival of the cell by destroying the viral genome. The guide RNA has a sequence complementary to a particular section of the viral genome. Along with the Cas9 protein, the guide RNA scans the viral genome until it finds that sequence. Then, it cuts the strands, which disables the virus. There are many possible future applications of this system due to its versatility, so the ethical implications must be discussed in depth. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about this or if you want me to make a video on a particular topic. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.